Oh yeah, take a look at this guys. The Colorado Pork Barbecue Tour had to bring us here to focus in on ribs. And there's nothing better than barbecue ribs in the summertime, if you ask me. We are here at Yazoo Barbecue Company in downtown Denver with Don Hines, the owner. Thanks for having us today. Well, thanks for having me. You know, I, I pulled into the parking lot and it just fills downtown. The air smells like barbecue. And for good reason, because you guys are, you've been smoking for quite some time this morning. Uh, yes, we started at uh, 7 o'clock. Our smokers are outside to let the uh, smoke yes. go Filthy out. Air. For downtown, we smoke with pecan wood. Okay, so then that's why everyone is peeping around the corner. What is that smell for visitors like me? And then I come and see a plate like this, and I know I'm in the right place. I know all is right in the world when I see ribs that look like this. Tell me about your ribs. They're a St. Louis cut. That is a cut. That's not how they're cooked. But uh, we then put a dry rub on there that uh, uh, when I first started 20 years ago, uh, my friends loved me because they got to eat free ribs all the time. And they then voted this the best dry rub of all the other dry rubs. Okay. So this is how we, we came to this. And then if you notice the color, uh, that's with the pecan wood uh, because the pecan will put a light nice brown to it. it. Like if you would do a cherry, this would be black. Okay. So, but, uh, but I like pecan. I like the flavor it gives. You can't over smoke with pecan and uh, great look and great flavor. Hey, you are so passionate about what you do. I love it. How yeah. long have you been here? I've been here 20 years and uh, uh, I did do another job. I did database management for a large firm. Uh, they fully vested my 401k. They fired me. I then cashed out my 401k, rolled the bones. I never worked for, in a restaurant before in my life. And I started Yazoo Barbecue, and I've been here 20 years later. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Sometimes you just need to take that risk, especially when it comes to ribs. They're totally yeah. worth the risk. <laughs> You're putting smiles in yeah. so many people's faces yeah. across Colorado. Uh, how many ribs do you go through in a week, do you say? Uh, let's see. Cases, well, no, let's see, racks of ribs. We're going through around, uh, 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 what was the number? Like 250, he yeah. told me earlier. Yeah, 250 racks of ribs a week. That's a lot of so, it's I mean, a, but if you have think, someone like me who comes in and eats an entire rack at a time, you know, which I maybe could. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and before I did have a coupon that you could uh, after they eat 10 meals, they get a meal free. People are coming in and say, okay, I want my rack meal. I want my rack of ribs. And I want the whole no, rack no, of ribs, no. we, nothing less. We then had to change the verbiage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then rib tips too. That's another thing that is pretty popular. Yes, yes. Out of those, uh, rib tips will go through about 800 pounds of rib tips a week in pounds so uh we love to see local we love to support local and obviously eat local don thank you for having us here today uh we love barbecue we love pork and we want you to come on our little barbecue tour with us go to copork.org and follow us on social media at colorado pork producers council